Hey everyone, welcome back to Sebrov. In this video, I will be explaining how to fix system error. A critical error has occurred and the process must be terminated. So there can be many reasons. So without any delay, let's quickly get started with the solution. So first, what you will have to do, make a right click on the Windows icon. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on Task Manager. Now here you have to close anything related to right client. So right click on it and choose End Task. If you find some more, then click on it and make end task. Then you also need to look for any kind of tuner like MSI, Afterburner or River Tuner. So scroll down to the bottom and look for anything related to MSI, Afterburner or River Tuner. If you find it, right click and close it. Once you are done, you can close it. Next, make a right click on the Windows icon. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on Device Manager. In the device manager, you have to look for display adapter. Double click on it. Here you will find your display card like AMD, Intel, whichever you are using. Make a right click on it and choose update driver. Click search automatically for driver. And if the update are available, it, it will automatically update it. And you can see that it says Windows has successfully updated your driver. So if you have the update available, kindly go ahead and update it. And if not, then you can close it. And now next click on your windows search, type services, hit the enter key. In the services you have to click anywhere then press the V key, V as in Victor. And you will find the VGC key. Okay, so you have to look for it and double click on it. And you can see it's been stopped. So what you have to do here in the startup type, from the drop down choose it to automatic. And then you have to start the service. Once it's started, you have to click on apply and then click on OK. Close it. Next, click on your Windows search, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, click run as admin, click on yes. Now here you have to run few command and all these command you will be getting in the description. So the first command will be NETSH space, INT space, IP space, reset. Hit the enter key. And the next command will be IP config space release. Again, hit the enter key. And the next command will be IP config space forward slash renew. Again, hit the enter key. Now, this command can take some time, so you will have to wait. So, once it will be done, you will be assigned with a new IP address. Now, next, you have to type IP config space forward slash flush DNS. And the last command will be NETSH space WinSock space reset. Alright, so once all these commands are completed, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer. And after that, check back. I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. Now, in case after applying all these solutions, still if you have the problem, the next you have to click on your Windows search, type appwiz.cpl. Hit the enter key. Now here you have to look for right vanguard. Once you get it, make a right click on it and choose uninstall. Click on yes. Click on yes. So once it get uninstalled, you have to close it. Now again, bring up your Valorant game. And now this time it will be asking for the update. So you have to click on update. And then it will say your game require a system restart. So you will have to restart your computer now. So let me quickly restart. All right, so the computer has been now restarted. So let's quickly open the Valorant again. And if I click on my Windows search, type Valorant. So it came up with the login page. So let me quickly log in. Okay, so here you can see the Valorant game is now coming up. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully your problem will be also fixed after applying all these solution. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.